Right now, the court has a neat split. Four justices often agree on each side of a case, and Justice Anthony Kennedy becomes the deciding vote. That's Scalia you see right there. But if Pre President Obama replaces Scalia with someone much like his first two nominees, Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor, who you see there, the people usually called the liberal bloc will have five votes, even without Kennedy, and that is a monumental shift North Carolina Senator Richard Burr says shouldn't happen in the last year of a president's second term. I, I can tell you this, that there's not a nominee he could send us uh, that would get confirmed in the last year of this president. It would break o uh, almost 80 years of precedent that's been set. It would even go against the grain of what Chuck Schumer, uh, certainly not a conservative, uh, said in July 7th of 2007, 18 months from the end of George Bush's uh, uh, term, it said there's no way the Senate should entertain uh, Supreme Court justice. What Burr is referring to there is top Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, who said in 2007 that Democrats who ran the Senate then, as Republicans do now, should not confirm any Bush nominees for the Supreme Court except in what he called extraordinary circumstances, and only if they proved that they were more moderate judges than the ones Bush had nominated before, which included John Roberts. If you want to know where this all goes back to this fighting politically, you can mark 1987 when Ted Kennedy and some of the other Democrats decided that Robert Bork, who was eminently qualified for the court, everyone admitted that, but they disagreed with him politically, so they basically said, you are unacceptable politically, and that's where this started, and it's been going on ever since. President Obama says he'll nominate someone soon. He will, so. and I doubt they'll get a vote, yeah. the way it looks now. All right, Bob, All right. thank you.